Hey guys, and welcome back to And Then There Was Style, your YouTube home decor channel. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of the family. Let's hop right into it. Today's video is to determine if the shabby chic style is right for your home. If you've been wondering but couldn't really figure it out, this video is for you, so keep watching. Don't forget to head on over to Facebook.com to join And Then There Was Style, our Facebook home decor group. It is completely free. You can also find us on TikTok and Pinterest at the same name, And Then There Was Style. So this is for all of you that have been wondering, hmm, I really like the shabby chic style, but could I put a, pull it off? Would it work in my home? What really is it? How does it look? You guys, this video is the video that you have been waiting on. This video is all about shabby chic. We're gonna give you tons of design inspiration, give you some ideas so even if you implement it in a small way, you can still get the look in your home. So let's start with what shabby chic actually is. The shabby chic style of home decor is an interior design style that really embraces a worn, lived-in look. You know when you go in an older person's home and it just looks like they've been there for years and there's so many beautiful pieces and it's feminine, it's floral, that is shabby chic. There's something really beautiful and yet comforting about the shabby chic style. If you throw in soft colors, a mix of brand new decor and vintage pieces and a lot of feminine accents, then you start to get the picture of what shabby chic is and how you can actually implement it in your home or in your room or in your bedroom or wherever it is that you want to see this look. So if the shabby chic style is something that you're really thinking about at your home, let's, let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about colors first. Now, that attention to detail and that really worn ambiance that we talked about just earlier can be applied to the walls and furnitures as well. The use of really soft hues, whites, and light pastel shades like a pale pink, a powder blue, lavender, mint green, and beige. Those are the shades that many people fall in love with when it comes to shabby chic decor. So we spoke about colors. Let's talk about a few ways that shabby chic decor may not be for you. Now, if you are a lover of clean lines, a really pristine type home decor style environment, shabby chic may not be for you. If you are a person that doesn't like a lot of the frills, a lot of the pomp and circumstance, as I call it, of a room, shabby chic decor may not be for you. If you are a lover of really bold colors or just straight black or really dark and moody style, once again, shabby chic may not be for you. Now keep in mind that you can always take a style that you love and fuse it with shabby chic to make a fusion style, right? There's shabby chic modern, there's rustic shabby chic. We can always do that. But at the heart of shabby chic is a really warm, inviting feel, a very feminine feel. And if that is not a look that you like or that you are drawn to, this may not be the style for you. Rest assured, we have many others for you to choose from. However, if you are loving uh, some of these images shown and you're saying, hey, I think this is the look that I've been really searching for that I want to go for in my home, let's get into it. I'm gonna give you some great tips to start really making this style in your home work, okay? So the first tip is to start with a neutral background. Now, while every element plays a really important part in pulling a room together like as a whole, some elements have to take a more background role to let other elements shine. Now since a lot of shabby chic pieces are really bold and colorful, those pastels, the different colors, 
the background for these spaces should really remain neutral to balance them out. Just for the record, when I say the background, I'm talking about the more structural elements of the room, such as the walls and floors that aren't really a part of your personal belongings. Consider painting the walls in lighter neutral shades like white or tan or even sticking to really simple wooden flooring. Now also keep in mind that your neutral background does not have to be boring. Feel free to center your design around architectural elements like a fireplace or built-in shelving. Second tip for you, focus on distressed or vintage furniture. So most of the time, or the majority of the time, the shabby part of shabby chic refers to items that feature a really weathered or antique aesthetic, you know, the furniture that looks like it's been in your family for generations, even if you bought it brand new, painted it, and distressed it yourself. Furniture is a great way to infuse this detail into any room. Now, as far as how to achieve this look, you have plenty of options to choose from. You could browse around for designers that make ready-made pieces with this style, or you can buy an unfinished model and look up a tutorial on YouTube, hey, shout out to YouTube, on how to recreate it at home. Now, those of you that don't mind their furniture having just a little bit of history attached can also look into vintage options, right? You can head to a thrift store, the Goodwill, the Salvation Army. It doesn't have to be expensive for you. Check out thrift stores, yard sales to see what unique pieces you can find to really draw you in and to really make a statement in your home. So one thing to note here is that the furniture you choose should only look distressed. If you're purchasing some new to you pieces that will really complete your design, Make sure they're well put together, have all their necessary parts and feel sturdy. You don't want to have to repurchase an item every six months because instead of looking distressed, it is distressed. Next tip, go ahead and mix and match those accessories. Shabby Chic is the perfect style for this. This is the fun part. This is the part that a lot of Shabby Chic lovers really thrive on. Accessories are where you can truly drive home your, your room's bohemian shabby feel. This style of design is all about layering a variety of different accessories. A throw rug, a blanket, a pillow, wall art, decor items, a lamp. This is the part we've been waiting on. You're going to create this cozy and casual space. So you're going to select items that feature various prints, patterns, and textures. For those who prefer a more cohesive look, try to go ahead and limit your color scheme to two or three different hues repeated throughout the space. But if your style is more shabby, chic, eclectic, you can absolutely set your own limit. Do what feels right to you. You're going to be working with a less structured style and a lot of times for some people that's easier. It's important to focus however on ensuring that the room doesn't end up looking too cluttered. A good way to figure this out is really to change your perspective. If you're putting something on your table and you aren't really for sure if it's working or not, take a few steps back. So taking just a two or three steps back will change how you see the table and a lot of times it will allow you to determine if that's a good fit or not for you. Alright guys, so as we near the end of this video, I want you to let me know which one of these rooms you loved or since we're talking about the shabby chic style just kind of in general, let me know if you are a fan of shabby chic and if you are, do you already have this in your home or if you are not a fan, why not? I'm curious to know. I think it's a gorgeous style but I want to know what you think down below in the comment section.
right guys, so I've already asked you to comment your favorite room down below or if you like the shabby chic style. If you want to know mine, it's this beautiful room right here because it's so light and feminine. I think this is like just the perfect little room to have a spot of tea in the afternoon. This room is really pretty. What do you guys think? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you felt about it down in the comment section. Also, check out these awesome videos and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.